guys and welcome to another video uh, today we have another closing and a couple of different meetings that we're going to be going to so I'm going to take you guys in a day in a life again um, it's been a really exciting month man this is going to be closing out the last deal that we have on the books for this month so going into October we're going to be looking at uh, back getting back to more of the grind as far as getting back on the phones the fourth quarter is rapidly approaching um, well, I mean, we're already kind of there and this is when 2022 starts. experience from last year I got in the business around I started calling around May um, didn't sell my first house until November but this is when it really starts to come to fruition as far as for your business on a year-to-year -year basis right you're usually about six to eight months out uh, in October we're really gonna get we're really gonna be pounding the phone again really collecting more emails and this year we should be able to get a lot more data because last year there was a five to seven you know month time period where I was still learning how to cold call I was learning the ins and outs of my own script my dialogue what worked best for me and now going into this year especially starting now having a year of cold calling under my belt my skills have you know tripled I, I've really become an assassin on the phone right I'm able to collect data collect emails at a rate of about 10 emails a day on maybe 150 200 calls whereas last year that would have took me you know six to seven hundred calls right so now I'm really able to you know scale this thing in the way that I see fit and that's what's really gonna be awesome so we're headed over here to closing I'm gonna go meet my client go ahead and get everything closed out this deal has been a little bit of you know a little difficult I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna say the word actually I'm not gonna say difficult this deal has been you know a little tricky you know my, my seller is a first-time home seller um, and his uh, situation behind everything was you know a little hard for her and it's been an emotional sale but you know we're, we're I'm gonna get her to the finish line and we're gonna push forward but right now there's a couple of you know things she she made the mistake of actually selling the stove out of the house right so we had everything pretty much done she was moving out and she took the stove and sold it on Facebook marketplace because she thought that she had to get that out of the house as well and so when the buyers did the walkthrough yesterday the buyers agent sent me a message a picture of the stove being gone and said hey it took the stove we don't need that back so we've been trying to scramble and figure out how to get her another stove all in all, she's gonna have to just eat that cost and you know give a concession to the, the buyers for that stove because that has to be in the property, right? You, you, you're not gonna buy a property without a stove unless it was agreed upon during the, the contract phase of things. So we had that and then she had some, she's having a little trouble getting some stuff out of the house. She was trying to sell a bed. Uh, the people were supposed to come through last night and pick the bed up and they didn't, so those are still there. Um, so it's just a few more things we got to sort out, but this is a part of being an agent, right? Your superpower is problem solving. Understand this, as a first year agent, especially dealing with the deals I've dealt with, it's been a blessing. I'm not gonna lie to you, it can be a little stressful when you're dealing with all these situations that you thought were, you know, just commonplace that people just knew, but I've dealt with some, some type of things where, you know, it's kind of out of left field and it's not something that you would ever expect like i don't think anybody would ever expect that their seller would take their stove and go and sell it because they thought it had to be out of the house that was something i couldn't expect it but like i say you learn from each situation moving forward and then that's the point of emphasis i think i'm going to have to start making and just at least make sure that they are aware we're headed back to frisco texas we're going to be closing up here in the north and then i'm going to take y'all over to the house because i have to go over there pull my sign pull my lockbox and then also kind of we're going to brainstorm and kind of figure out what we're going to do about these situations so you guys enjoy the ride enjoy the video and i'll see you in just a second What is going on guys? 
guys, we have made it to the title company. Uh, currently just waiting on my clients so we can go ahead and get this deal closed, get it funded. The buyers actually signed on Monday, today's a Wednesday. So all we have to do is get in here, sign the paperwork, take about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna go back to the house, pull my lockbox, pull my sign, and then also kind of figure out what we're gonna do as far as making sure we have the stove in there, like I mentioned, making sure that We've taken all the rest of their belongings out. I think there's a bed that's left over, trampoline outside. So just a couple of things we gotta, you know, button up and then we'll be pretty much closed on this deal. So I'm gonna let you know how it goes and I'll see you in just a second. So how was your experience with the Branson Property Group? Amazing, I would recommend you to anybody. Not just the professionalism of it, but the heart. I'm the heart to help, I appreciate that so much. It was great, it was good. Um, she came, she brought her mom, they had a great time. We were able to go through all the documents pretty smoothly, explain what she was signing. It appeared that they were very comfortable and happy with their transaction. Well, everything went smoothly. Really excited about her getting that deal closed. You know, this was a really emotional process for her, but everything went really smoothly. We got the deal done and she was super happy to be able to move on to the next chapter. So, like I said, for me, it's always about relationships. That's the key, guys. That's the key to your success in the business because in the future, those relationships will pay dividends with referrals because she was a referral from one of my other clients who I had built a relationship with. And from each you know, relationship you have, it's 10 to 20 deals in your career. So make sure you are servicing your clients the right way and just really have their best interests at mind. Guys, we just finished up over there at the house, uh, getting ready to go to lunch and grab a bite to eat. Um, one thing I wanted to share was, right, creating those relationships with different people, such as title companies, title reps, such as people, attorneys, that sort of thing. It just pays dividends in the long run because, like I said, when you run into these difficult deals, you know, you need those people who are able to take care of things on the back end as you are taking care of other things on the front end. So uh, we're actually going to have lunch with my title rep, Taisha, and then also through the, the head of the business development for that particular title company uh, and, that, and that particular office, Carlos Woltman. Um, we're gonna go and have a bite to eat, kind of chop it up. Just talk about, you know, some of the deals that we've done so far, because they've, they've handled probably eight to nine deals for me. And really just cement the relationship going forward. Um, like I said, I like to have, uh, definitely have lunches, have dinners with a lot of the people that I work with and keep a, keep the foundation in uh, good spirits and good thing, and good graces because when those difficult transactions arise, and trust me, in this game of real estate, they definitely will. Um, you're gonna need those you know, people that you can really count on to get things done, get them done in a timely manner because it reflects well on you to have those type of professionals in your back pocket, in your arsenal, to then give to your clients because that's the type of service that you can give uh, all your clients across the board. And that really starts to separate yourself as a realtor among the rest of the realtors out here. And that's how you propel your business going forward. spot man especially day night maybe we come for lunch a little business meeting we're here in Irving Texas but this is the, called the Las Colinas area so I'm waiting on my title reps they'll be here in just a second uh, we're gonna go ahead and have something to eat kind of kick it and just kind of relax for a little bit before I got another meeting at three o'clock 
and uh, hopefully a new new listing coming to the market. And we also have two that's going to close next month as far as I don't know, some of that it helps. I uh, sent out a referral out there to California for helping somebody sell a house for one of my clients and then my clients are purchasing here. So that's what we got going on the agenda right now. We're going to kick back, just ordered our margarita with a splash of Grand Marnier and we're going to kick back and kind of just have a good time. Just finished lunch, man. I'm feeling really stuffed and full, but I do have a meeting here. It's about 2:45. Uh, on my way to the house, we'll get there about mm, three o'clock, and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this meeting. Also, had a pretty interesting call while I was at lunch, man. Um, uh, someone just kind of called me randomly, said they were looking for some commercial property, uh, apartment buildings, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna follow up with that and kind of see. What they're you know kind of looking for so i'll probably get that recorded as well and uh, hopefully we can get something going with that build a new relationship i don't want to be cold calling when the time 2024 2025 comes around I'm, i want to be done with the prospecting and i want to i want to eat off this weekly email and then start building my other business which is you know more airbnbs and i want to do more flips and that sort of thing that's kind of what i really want to be into so you guys are going to be along for the journey you're along for the ride and i want to be as candid and open with you as much as possible um like i said we're going to get into more things but it's going to be about real estate man and how i see the vision of what real estate can do and where i'm going with it so i appreciate you guys for watching stay tuned for more